All right, Bar Naturals Prez, talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. Yo, what's good, good money? We're back in Cherry Clinton. You already know. And today I'm going to bring you guys muscle up tutorial. How you guys should be training to get the first muscle up, how to get it clean, how to avoid mistakes, injuries. And I'm going to tell you the proper steps and the routines that I found most to be most effective. I taught myself the muscle up myself about eight, nine years ago. And I went through the most nonsense steps just to learn it myself. So now when I teach the people I know the most effective routines that you should be following, it's gonna get you up there the cleanest and the fastest. And number one thing I wanna say, for anybody that's thinking about they wanna learn the muscle up move, look, it's, in the beginning it's more of a technique and skill move. When you, wanna, when you wanna be good at it and start to use it as a strength move, it should be clean. So in order for you to start training the muscle up, I recommend everybody, first, you should have 15 strict pull ups down in one set and a good strict 20 dips, preferably straight bar dips on a straight bar. If you don't have 20 straight bar dips and 15 pulls strict, you have no business training for the muscle up yet. It's just gonna lead to injury and you'll have, it's like building a house. You need to have a strong, strong foundation before you put, put on like the exterior stuff. So before you want the show stuff, you gotta have a strong base. So make sure you get your basics down, pull ups, dips. Make sure you get them down 15, 20 before you start learning this routine. So. If you're already at that level, which I would classify as an intermediate training, and again, for beginners, you shouldn't even have any business training the muscle up yet. You should want to build a base, get good at the basics, and then start building up from there. So, first thing I'm going to tell people, listen, the most common thing I see people do, I'll show you guys on this bar. First thing I see people do when trying to do the muscle up is they're doing too much. Listen, a muscle up starts from a dead hang. You start from a dead hang, you end in a dead hang. There's no bending in the arms in the initial movement. There's no arm movement. There's no bending in the arms. You're not starting in a bent arm position. We don't want to go up like that. How are you going to generate force trying to muscle up like that? You can't. All your force comes from your lat, your pulling muscles. Right now you have half your muscle engaged already. How are you going to generate force from there? So, first thing first, like I said, 15 strict pulls first, 20 dips. Why also? Because that's going to give you an awareness of your body. If you could rep 15 pull-ups and 20 dips, you should have some type of body awareness. You should have some type of understanding how to keep understanding how to keep your body in a line, how to control your body, how to keep your core engaged. So, first thing first, yo, G, come to the side. Just watch. All you, this is the first movement you guys got to do, and it's a minimal movement. Watch. There's no movement in my muscles. Nothing. All I'm doing, I'm gonna stand from the bar, one feet apart, arms up already. So I'm already locked out. All I'm gonna do is jump and swing. Look, I ain't moving. I'm not moving my hips for momentum. I'm not moving my arm for momentum. All I'm doing to generate that swing is jumping from here and letting my body swing forward naturally. So one more time. Look, one foot from the bar, arms up. Just jump to the bar. Simple. That's the one thing that people do. Like I said, they do too much. They're always doing this. Again, straight arms. No bending at the arms. Jump, everything loose. All you want to do, jump, and as soon as you touch that bar, body straight, and just swing naturally back and forth. No hip movement, no trying to pike up yet, nothing. So once you got that move down comfortably, like I said, it's a very simple move. The next element you want to add is learning how to bring your knees up. So like I said, when you're learning a muscle up in the beginning, it's going to be more technique. You're going to want to learn the proper technique to allow your body to keep going for repetition over and over in a clean movement. Now again, that's when, in the beginning, when you see people doing muscle-ups, they're gonna be doing it with momentum, generating momentum, and it won't be so much a muscle-building exercise. Like I said, it'll be more of a technique skill, a technique movement. So, but when you wanna clean it up and when you get better and better at it, that's when you wanna be able to do clean reps with body weight and eventually be able to add weight to it to, the, to make it an effective strength-building exercise. Because like I said, listen, a muscle-up, how do you start on a muscle-up? Hanging, hanging from the bar and you end like this. Think of it while doing Olympic lifting, right? Uh, a powerlifting sport, weightlifting, right? It mimics a snatch movement. How do you start a snatch? You start a snatch like this, and you end like this. This is the opposite starting position of a muscle-up is the ending position of a snatch, and the starting position of a snatch is almost the starting ending position of a muscle-up. Here to here, muscle-up, here to here. Same thing, they're explosive power training movements, so you should train them that way with strict form. The momentum is good in the beginning, but eventually you want to be able to cut that shit out and get it clean. So, like I said, come to the side again. First thing first, you want to learn that swing. So now watch, 
All I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump to the bar the same way. I'm going to swing forward. And on my way back, watch. I'm going to bring my knees up to my waist. So swinging forward naturally again. Jumping forward, swinging forward naturally. And then on the way back. So like I said, jumping forward, swinging forward naturally. No movement in my arms. And all I'm going to do on the way back is bring my knees up. So catch it from the side. Ready? Jumping forward, on the way back, knees up, knees up, knees up. And you'll notice, look, I'm still not bending my arms at all. I'm not pulling my arms, I'm not pulling on the bar, I'm not trying to rotate my arms, nothing. All I did first, like I said, the first movement, swing forward naturally. Locked arms, everything straight, everything relaxed. Swing forward, on your way back, bring your knees up. Think of it like if you're on a swing set. When you're on a swing set, when you're swinging forward, you have your legs in front of you, right? So you could go higher. And when you come back, you bring your knees in, right? So you could go higher back this way and the air could go under you. So it's the same thing. Think of it like that. Jumping forward, legs straight, on the way back, you bring your knees up. So bringing your knees up is gonna allow you to generate that momentum to get your body higher so you can throw yourself over the bar. So again, I'm gonna just demonstrate the first two moves and one set. So I'm gonna swing, I'm gonna do two forward swings naturally and then I'll do two swings with my knees to the, when I bring my knees up. So catch it from the side again, G. Oh, you want me to face this way? Better? All right, so watch. Ready, ready, look. So first I'm gonna just do two swings, and then I'm gonna swing on the third one, I bring my knees up, and on the fourth one, I bring my knees up again. So ready, watch. Swinging naturally, one, two, knees up. Knees up. And look, still, no movement in the arms. So once you got that down, you want to be able to rep these. So look, you want to get comfortable at repping that coming out, bring your knees up. Because look, you're going to see the control that I have in my body. Now watch. Ready? It's almost like doing a crunch, kind of. Bring your knees up, controlling it, to letting you bring your body back. So you want to be able to rep those comfortably. Getting those reps in is going to build a lot more body control again. Remember, another common thing that I see people doing when they're doing the muscle-ups is they're way too sloppy. Bending their arms and their legs are all over the place trying to step on the air to get themselves up. You can't step on air. It ain't going to work. You can try to step on the pole, get your arm over, but again, that ain't a muscle-up. So, you want to get comfortable, like I said, swinging, bring your knees up. Now watch. The third element, all you're going to add to that, now you're going to start bending your arms and working on the transition. So, you'll notice, when you swing forward and bring your legs up, watch, I'm gonna do it one more time. Every time I bring my legs up, my body gets higher and higher over the bar. So watch, again, no movement in the arm this set. So watch, just knees up, bringing my body higher. Ready? Straight. So, all you're doing with the knees up is generating, generating that momentum to get your body over the bar. You wanna get your chest higher than bar level. So, the reason why I said you gotta be able to do straight bar dips is because the top of the muscle up is a straight bar dip. So, when you're on the top of the muscle up, this is how you're locking out. You gotta be able to get your arms now from here to here. So, if you train straight bar dips, your body's gonna understand that range of motion pretty much. All you gotta do now is get that transition in. So, the next thing we're gonna do is start bending the arms until we lock them out right on top. So watch, one more time from the side. You want it right here? All right, ready? Mm -hmm. So watch, it's gonna be one swing, knees up, and then as soon as I bring my knees up, watch guys, watch the arm movement. I'm gonna bend my arms, pull. Basically what I'm doing is pulling the bar down and bringing my arms over, rotating my shoulders over. So, think of it in the gym if you're doing a straight arm pull down, a lat pull down, cable pull down, straight down. So, legs straight, swinging, and as you bring your knees up, you're pulling down on the bar like this, and at the same time, you're bending your elbows, pulling, rotating. Watch. Jump, knees up, that's it. Knees up, and look, I'm not even, I'm not even coming to full lockout. So, get that swing, knees up. Once you get comfortable with those reps, all you're doing, when you get to the height, so George, come to the side. As soon as you reach peak height with your knees up, so 
like if you were on a swing coming forward coming back as soon as you before you would start coming back forward you want to pull yourself over the bar that's why I said you have to have good pulling you have to have at least 15 pull-ups down because you want to understand how to pull your body so one more time everything in one motion swinging knees up pulling my body over rotating my elbows watch swing knees up rotating my elbows final movement is the lockout back down so one more time from right here swinging forward knees up once the knees up once I get to the point right now when my body comes all the way back and my knees are to my chest all you're doing is pulling your body to the bar which is gonna rotate your body over naturally so one more time swing knees up right over lock out and then once you get your first rep listen generating momentum coming down makes your second rep slightly easier because now you come down and you just do the same movement so let your body swing forward again knees up and back over just like that so in the beginning when you're learning them you want to understand that momentum that swing forward that knee tuck to your chest and being able to transfer your arms and pull your body over the bar it's not that complicated of a movement three elements to it swing knees up transfer and then dip up again if you guys got a solid 20 straight bar dips 15 pull-ups this movement shouldn't be that hard for you to learn and then so another drill you guys should be practicing so again these are movements you come into the park on the first day if you have your 15 pulls and 20 dips you, you know it's not guaranteed you're gonna get a muscle up just doing these drills in one day these are drills that you should be practicing so you may not you may not even understand on day one you may only understand how to get this swing down a lot of people don't understand it it's the sim most simplest thing but everybody tries to do too much everyone still tries to bend their arms everyone's still trying to pike their legs get comfortable with that then from there get comfortable at working this element here knees up just get comfortable at that because once you get comfortable at those swings this transfer the pullover is the easiest part because like I said if you have the strength to do the dips that's nothing all you got to learn how to do is get the momentum to get your body higher than the bar and that's those two moves right there the swing knees up once your body's over it's just the dip and if we're doing dips already it's nothing so another drill you guys should be practicing and this is an ideal bar for you guys to find you want to find a bar that's just about level with your head so and this is a movement people could work on that don't have the 15 pulls 20 dips yet and still want to kind of practice these elements because this is not going to involve much technique more understanding repetition and just working through that pattern but you're jumping into it so watch all you can do is find a bar just like this you're going to drop down into a squat position you want to be in perfect form here you don't want to be here right now because this is not going to be optimal to generate force on the way up you want to be in a squat position on the way on the way up so you want to hang all your weight down on your arms but you want your feet flat on the floor you want to be grounded because you want to be able to generate some jumping momentum from your feet all you're going to do now with all your body weight hanging down on your arms and your feet grounded you're just going to come up you're going to you're going to pull and at the same time jump and you're going to pull yourself and jump over the bar so ready and look look at my feet look how my feet end Put together locked out so you're starting in the squat position to generate good momentum on the way up but as soon as you get up, feet come together to understand that perfect form, then you lock out. And this is how you're gonna rep these out. Right back down, jump up. And then, once you, once you get comfortable with that, you guys gotta start practicing negatives. Negatives are what's really gonna build the strength to get your body to understand the movement and build more and more strength to get a clean muscle up. So another perfect bar that you want to practice negatives on is a short bar just like this it's gonna force you to compress it's gonna force you to keep your legs up in order to get a full negative so what you're gonna do again you're gonna come down you're gonna jump up but now instead of going back down and back up you're just gonna come down to a full dead hang but now watch if I was to just drop down like this my feet hit first before I get a full lockout so being on a short bar like I said it's gonna force you to compress 
Now for me to get a full negative, watch. I have to keep my knees up. Knees up and any pulling mo movement, chin-ups, pull-ups, knees up like this, L-sit. It's a harder movement, there's more gravity on you. So if you control it down with your knees up, you're, th you're basically controlling a greater load on the way down, which is gonna help you understand that clean movement up. So this is how it's gonna look. Jump up, right from here, this is how you're gonna negative down. No feet touching the floor, ready? Knees up, drop down to a full dead hang, then you put your knees on the floor. That's how you do a negative. So, so the benefits and negatives, like I always preach, is you can ha handle greater loads in a negative range of motion. Same thing like I say, with bench press or in the gym, if you can't bench 225 up, you probably could, you may be able to lift it here and control it down to your chest and then have someone lift it up. Why? Because you can control it down, you just can't press it up because you're stronger in the eccentric range. Same thing when it comes to learning a pull up. If you can't do pull ups, I always tell people, do the jump up just like this, control the negative down. Controlling it down, building that eccentric strength, is gonna build the strength to be able to do the concentric, which is the positive part of the movement. So, again, with the negative muscle up, low bar, Locked out, jump into clean form. Look, always feet it together every time. Locked out, toes pointed down. From here, knees up first, drop down, full dead hang. That's how you're gonna get the full extension, the full range of motion in that negative to learn the muscle up. So, the jump ups, which I showed you, these, a drill that everyone that wants a muscle up, muscle up should practice. Whether you have the 15 pulls and 20 dips or not, it's a good, it's a good move to practice. And one, two, it's gonna mimic a muscle up. It's gonna give you that high calorie burn. Muscle ups, are, it's, an, it's an intense movement. You burn a lot of calories doing it. Like I said, it's mimicking like a snatch. Power explosive movement. So just repping those out is gonna build that explosive force too. So now, once you get comfortable at those two, at the first movement, the jump ups, and the negatives, and you start understanding these drills, once you can get yourself over on a bar like this, watch, I'm gonna do it the same way. Swing, knees up, pull over, right? Once you guys come up here now, and you guys can get yourself on the bar, what you wanna do from here, come straight down. That's how you're gonna start practicing clean negatives on a high bar. So if you can't muscle up yet, if you're still learning these drills, if you're still going through the drills and you haven't gotten yourself over yet, you work on these drills first. Your routine should be based on these drills, right? So you come to the park, you're gonna work on the swing. You're gonna work on bringing your knees up. You're gonna work on the transition. Like I said, the first day you come, you may not get your muscle up, but that's when you come, when you're done training the drills, that's when you come to the low bar and start practicing the movement in a negative, in the negative, uh, in the negative motion. So that's when you'll jump up, do the negatives. And then to pre-exhaust, after you do the negatives, then you'll come and you'll do the jump ups. They're literally like drops it. So first, you'll do all the drills for a muscle up, right? Come, train for the muscle up. You get it, you get it, you don't, you don't. Even if you do get it on day one, you may be only getting up one at a time. So how are you gonna continue to fatigue the muscle and train that movement pattern? That's when you're gonna come up to the lower bar, jump up to it, and then work the muscle up down. Because listen, training those movements, the swing, the knees up, the, the transition, training them over and over, it's gonna fatigue your lats. Listen, it's, lats are engaged the whole time. Even though there's no pulling and you're swinging, the lats are still flat, are still stretched out and engaged the whole time. So if you're going through the drills for uh, like extended periods of time, it will fatigue you. So that's when you're gonna go and do these drop set type exercises. First, the, uh, the negatives, jumping up, then negative, ne doing negatives down. Then once you can't do negatives down no more, then you're gonna start doing the jump ups with the, with the momentum. When your feet are on the floor, you jump back up down, up, where you're doing the jump ups. That's how you build volume in this type of training pattern. So, like I was saying, and then once you get the muscle up from learning these drills, and once you can get yourself over the bar, so you could either do two things. Everyone's gonna wanna rep them out, right? So like I said, usually, once you can get yourself up on that first rep, that second rep down is slightly easier, because now you have more momentum that you're generating from the top of the bar. So again, I'll show you them repped out, you want me to stand? Wherever you want. Let me know. That's so, good. Okay. So wherever you 
So once you get that first muscle up, up, like I said, coming down, you want to mimic the same movement pattern and generate the momentum to come back up. And it's usually easier because again, instead of generating momentum from the bottom of the bar, now your whole body's swinging from the top down and you get a stronger swing forward. So watch, same thing we're doing with the momentum and everything that I'm showing you guys. Swing forward, legs up, up. Now from here, all you're gonna do to generate that momentum, swing back forward, back up. Forward, back up. And it's just like that. And it just becomes technique after a while. Once you get comfortable at doing that, bring your legs up. What starts to make people fail is usually the pushing, the pushing motion. Your triceps fail. Because remember, the pullover is more skill. The real exercise, the real muscle that's being put, put, uh, stressed mostly is the dip. Because it depends on, if you're not pulling high enough, if you're only pulling to your chest sometimes, you have to dip deeper. So it's the dipping muscles that usually fatigue you in the, in the muscle up uh, repetitions anyway. So when you're repping out muscle ups, you usually could always still get your chest to the bar, but it's just that transition where people fail mostly, mostly. So working them negatives are ideal for that transition. And then again, coming to the top, Momentum up, and then like I said, generate that momentum back down. So, same way, legs forward, knees up, transition, lockout. All right, so, like I said, if you guys don't got the 15 pull, 20 straight bar dips, I really don't recommend you trying this yet. These drills, go by all means, practice these muscle up negatives, the drills on the low bar, that's just gonna make your body understand the pattern of motion that a muscle up teaches. So, hope uh, you guys enjoyed this. Hope it's useful for you. And uh, like I said, comment, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks to that's good money. You already know. Thank you, my and uh, more to come. Links to his uh, Bar Natural Presence YouTube and Instagram will be in the description box, man. Subscribe to him and uh, follow him on the gram, man. You already, my man. For sure. How long?